mountains are specially beautiful this time of year. When Mother Nature paints the leaves purple and red and gold. And, being as this is the last day of October, tonight is Halloween. <laughs> so, I guess I know where millions of you little witches and goblins are going to be going after sundown. Dark night. That's a nice Halloween costume you're wearing, Mrs. Born. Oh, you really like it? Yeah, especially that funny fake nose. Why, that's not a fake. Oh, you, you little. Oh, now get that mutt out of here. Uh oh. Boy, that was a dumb thing to say, Chucky. How was I supposed to know? Yes, ma'am? Throw that stupid dog his stupid frisbee. Okay, fella. Run out for a long one. That looks like a fun game, Rusty. <laughs> you kidding, Buttons? That's easier than falling off a log. Hey! You threw it too far! Uh, wow! A fox! And a bear! And the fox got the frisbee! It's a rough game. Yeah, and it's gonna get rougher if that dog catches up with you. Dog? <laughs> hey, come back here! Drop that frisbee! Sam, stop those kids! Christy! Chucky! Come back! Those animals are wild! Breaker, breaker, Ranger Jones. This is Mabel Sporn down at the trailer park. Do you copy? Well, that's a big 10-4, Mabel. Is it about the Halloween party? Ranger, two little kids and a dog just ran into the woods after a wolf and a grizzly bear. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Mabel. There hasn't been a wolf or a grizzly in these parts in 50 years. You gonna believe history or what I saw with my own eyes? All right, calm down, Mabel. Now, did these animals attack the children? Well... No. Well, did the dog attack the animals? Oh, uh, well, uh, after the wolf ran off with the frisbee, you see. The frisbee? <laughs> Look, this is no laughing matter, Ranger. Now call out the National Guard, turn loose your bloodhounds, or do whatever it is you do when folks get lost in the woods. Do you read me? Over. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of it. Over and out. Now you know and I know that the animals in my forest wouldn't harm a fly. But Mrs. Sporn, well, you see, she doesn't really understand about such things. Heck, the animals are more afraid of people than people are of them. <laughs> Especially my little pals, Buttons and Rusty. Well, well, <laughs> if it isn't the big bad wolf, the ferocious grizzly, <laughs> and the missing frisbee. Okay, Rusty, hand it over. Ranger Jones, are we glad to see you? There's this dog and some kids, and I... Just... Oh, now, whoa, that's enough, hey. Now, first off, didn't I tell you to stay away from the trailer park? Well, yes, sir. All right. You remember why? Because city animals are different from forest animals? Right. And the humans, they want to move us away. Uh, I'm afraid so, Rusty. But why? This is our home. Yeah, if humans don't like us, why don't they stay in the city? I guess because there are too many people down there. Well, if you ask me, there are too many people up here. <laughs> yeah, but after all, they own all this country, so... Own it? I thought the forest belonged to everybody. How can I explain something to these little guys if I don't understand it myself? Call in Happy Days Trailer Park. 
Uh, Mabel, you got your ears on? Roger, Ranger. Any luck? Over. Well, I've got two little tykes and a frisbee. Good. <gasps> Wait. Oh, never mind. I hear them. Thanks anyway, Ranger. Over and out. Mrs. Sporn, we're back. Yes, thanks to Ranger Jones. Ranger Jones? You kids better get ready for trick-or-treating. Yes, yes ma'am! Ma and remember, the Ranger's party starts at 7.30. Yes, yes ma'am! <laughs> That's the scariest-looking costume I ever saw, Lenny! Well, at least it's different, which is more than I can say for yours. <laughs> This is one time when being short is gonna pay off. <laughs> I can't wait till 7.30 rolls around and everybody goes to the ranger's party. <laughs> Except for two little trick-or-treaters who missed the party. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, dinner's almost ready. Good. Now, where are those children? George, will you go outside and get Rusty and Buttons? Mm. Oh, no! Psst! Abner, wake up! <coughs> what? Rusty and Buttons, they haven't come back yet. Uh-oh. Let's go, George. Now, Abner, don't you go anywhere. I'm about to serve dinner. Uh, we were just going outside to, uh, uh... To get the kids. Be right back, girls. Those kids promised they'd be home in half an hour. Yeah. Uh, but that was about three hours ago. Whew. Slow down. Just a little farther, Abner. <laughs> That's neat, Jonesy. Hey, Jonesy. Uh, when does the party start? Oh, after the kids are through trick-or-treating. What's trick-or-treating? Well, in this part of the world, every Halloween, children dress up like witches, ghosts, or monsters. And they go from house to house yelling, trick-or-treat. And people give them treats like candy and stuff. Wow. Does everybody give them stuff? <laughs> yep. Bags full. Sounds like a lot of belly aches. Uh-huh. That's why I'm throwing the party, to prevent belly aches. Wait a minute. You mean they eat bags full of goodies, and then they come here and eat more stuff? That's what I call really chowing down. My tummy hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but you see, I give a prize to the kid who brings the most trick-or-treat stuff to the party. And that way, the parents can check out all the treats to make sure they're safe to eat. I, uh... I suppose this party's just for human types? I'm afraid so, Buttons. Which reminds me, shouldn't you guys be heading back home? Yeah, guess so. Okay, bye, Jonesy. Happy Halloween! <laughs> What do you see, George? I don't know, but they sure ain't human. Oh, b -b 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 what are they? Trick or treat! Hooray! Yeah! 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 It's a lion! It's Buttons! Buttons, you're in big trouble! Help! Wild animals! Oh! Buttons! Where's Rusty? Lulu! It's a real bear! Help! Buttons! You stubborn little! I told him that was a scary costume. Just wait till I get my paws on you, you little monster! What's all the shouting about? Oh, you know how crazy kids get on Halloween. Hey! No running out there! Sam, stop those children! You wild animals! <laughs> you know how crazy kids get on Halloween. <laughs> Look out, Sam! Here come more wild animals! Stop those animals! Stop that bear! Wait up, George! Ain't them kids kind of big for trick-or-treating? Lulu, help! Forget Lulu! Where the heck is Rusty? What? 
What was that? Buttons! Oh, my head. Well, young man, what have you got to say for yourself? Boo! It's 7.30. Folks ought to be arriving any minute now. Oh, I suppose you're wondering why I didn't ask Buttons and Rusty to stay for my party. Well, even though they've come to be like family to me, I wouldn't dare mix a bunch of little kids with wild animals. You know, the more I think of it, the madder I get. Yeah. Well, who needs his old party anyway? Hey, I got it. Hey! Sorry, I just realized there's nothing that says we can't go trick-or-treating. Yeah! Then we can have our own party! Right! Who needs people? Come on! Hello! Anybody? Uh, Rusty, how do you trick-or-treat somebody? Just watch! Hey! Wake up up there! What do you want? Let's go. He sounds awful mad. Relax, will ya? I'll handle this. Trick or treat! Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Why, it means you gotta give us a treat. Oh, yeah? And if I don't? <laughs> That's where the trick comes in. What trick? We don't do tricks. We'll think of something. <laughs> Be right back! <laughs> Ought to be good for a couple of nuts. Ow! Ow! Ah! Now get out of here! A couple of nuts, you said? So he was generous. Ooh. Hey, why don't we go to the trailer park and watch how the human kids do it? Good thinking, Buttons. Here we are, gang. Anybody for hot dogs? Hey, what do I cook them? You see why I couldn't mix Rusty and Buttons with that wild bunch? <laughs> Those cubs wouldn't stand a chance. Hey, save some food for the rest of us. I'll call you on the CB when we're ready to come home. Yes, ma'am. Have fun, ladies. <laughs> Serves you right, you big klutz. <laughs> you really put your foot in it this time, pal. How can you sit there laughing and stuffing your face when your children are missing? Missing, Rosie? Those kids know their way home. I wouldn't worry about them. And how do you explain this bucket, Abner? Don't tell me you went to the trailer park. Okay, I won't. Abner, go get Ranger Jones. Maybe he can help. On a sore paw? Oh, did it hurt when I pulled the bucket off, dear? It sure did. Gosh, imagine how it's going to feel when I have to pull it off your thick head. Uh, you know, that paw's feeling a lot better. Uh, gee, come on, George. Where's the stupid light switch? What a setup. We got the whole trailer park to ourselves. <laughs> we'll be back in town selling this stuff before they get home. Wow. Here's one thing we won't be selling, Lenny. Holy cow. That coat must be worth a fortune. Take it off. You can have everything else, kiddo. But this coat is M-Y-N Mayan. Look. There's that grouchy lady in the funny hat. Hmm. I don't see any kids around. Ye gads. Well, I better take a look at those squeaky brakes. Isn't that the man who threw the frisbee at you? Now, oh, where'd I leave the doggone lug wrench? Must have left it in the shed. He left the keys in the van. What a break. Let's go. Did I see what I think I saw? Looked like a bear and a fox in a funny hat. We ought to warn him. 
It is a fox and a bear. And look at all the trick-or-treat stuff she gave them. Wow! Let's ask them how they did it. Okay, sweetie. Let's burn rubber. <laughs> Buckle up, babe. Come on, move it. What's the matter with this piece of junk? Well, don't just sit there. Get out and fix it. Uh -huh. No wonder. Probably some Halloween prank. Hey, you kids! Get away from that van! Meet you in the motor home. Come back here, you little brats! Those were kids dressed up like animals. How do I look? <laughs> Just like the kid who was wearing it. How's this look? <laughs> like your dad when he's mad. Hey, I got an idea. If kids can dress like us to go trick-or-treating, we could just wear nothing and... And they'll think we're two kids in costumes. Hey, terrific! Uh-oh, somebody's coming. In there. Uh-oh, Rusty, I think this thing is moving. <laughs> Thank goodness Halloween only comes once a year. Oh, hey, hey you in the van! Stop! Maybe you flooded the engine. Ah, the battery's dead. Come on, let's get out and steal somebody else's rig. That van, it's running away. Hurry, Lulu, there's our getaway car. Run, Lenny, run! People, now what do we do? The minute they stop this thing, we run for it. <laughs> All right, pedal to the metal, Lenny. Yahoo! Next stop, New York City. New York City? Breaker, Breaker, Ranger Jones, come in, Ranger, over. Ranger Jones here. That you, Sam? Over. A couple of kids just stole my van, and they're heading your way. But I thought all the kids were here at the party. Well, all I know is them two little brats in the bear and fox suits rode off in the van. A bear and a fox? No. They wouldn't. But then again... Okay, Sam. I'll get right on it. Hey, Mabel! Carry on without me for a while. I've got a little official business to take care of. Can't tell the goodie from the bad. Which wish that I could tell is which has the magic cell. I know one's a devil and there's one on the level that's a saint. Which one is, and which one ain't? Can't tell the baddie from the good. Which which? I am so perplexed. Is which which has got the hex? Cause they dress the like from has to shoe. So I haven't got a clue. Which is which, and who is who? They both have a customary broomstick. How can I pick and be sure I'm right? With the same laugh and cackles, it will sure raise your hackles when they scream in the middle of the night. What a fright! It's weird and it's so mysterious. Which, which I am not amused is because I am so confused. I don't know the bad which from the good which. Why doesn't someone tell me? Cubs are gonna get themselves killed. Killed? Yikes! George Abner! Where did you be? Boy, you scared me. What's happened to Buttons and Rusty? Yeah, where are they? We've been looking everywhere. Well, you see, this fella calls me on the CB, and he swears he saw two kids who looked like a bear and a fox stealing his truck. trick-or-treating, they were stealing! Holy cow! Hope none of that silver got dented. Check on it, Lulu. This whole teapot seems okay. Uh-oh, trouble ahead. Looks like the cops! Quick, 
Lulu, get me the head for this costume. What did you do with it? I don't know. Look in the back. Here it is. Yep, that's a van, all right. I'll let them pass, then follow them. Just smile and wave, babe. Maybe they'll think we're on our way to the Rangers party. Just smile and wave, guys. I want them to think we're three guys in Halloween costumes. Hi! Goodbye! Hi! Hi. Goodbye! Lenny, I think those were real animals in that Jeep. That was them! It can't be! It better not be! That sounded like Jonesy. Look, isn't that his Jeep? What the hell? Two little kids? How come you ain't at the Halloween party? Uh, well, we weren't invited, you see, and... It's the law! Step on it! There's a side road up ahead! They're headed for your place, Jonesy! They're going too fast! Jonesy! They're gonna crash! What's all the racket? Oh my gosh! My van! Look out for that tree! My van! Oh my van! It's ruined! Oh dear. I hope nobody was... Rusty! Buttons! Trick or treat! Ranger, grab those kids! They stole my van! Let's get out of here. There must be be some mistake. Yes, our kids wouldn't steal. I know that, and I also know who did. Oh. I'll straighten everything out with one quick jerk. <gasps> Mr. Spratt, what's the meaning of this? Uh, let's just say I uh, lost my head. Shut up, Lenny. They ain't got nothing on us. Except my best fur coat. <laughs> Come on, Abner. We don't want the kids to get home before we do. Thanks, Jonesy. So long, George. Bye, Abner. Ranger, you aren't going to let them walk into the forest alone, are you? Oh, they'll be all right until they get home. <laughs> well, I sure had enough Halloween for this year. Me too. Whoa! <laughs> now what? One last chance to play trick-or-treat on that old gopher. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Trick-or-treat! What are you, a wise guy? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, wrong cave. Come back. I'll give you trick-or-treat. That isn't a gopher. It's a skunk. I tried to warn you. What's the matter, kids? That mean old gopher bothering you? Well, not exactly. Come on, Abner. He can't get away with that. We wouldn't do that if we were you. Hey, you in there. You referring to me? Yeah, you, you little stinker. <laughs> That's me, all right. Oh, no. So there you are. And where are your fathers? Well, it's a long story. Did you ever hear of something called Halloween? Or trick or treat? Now don't start telling us another one of your wild stories. <laughs> okay, we will.